Reporter Lutendo Bobodi was out in Polokwane where the DA is holding its elective conference there. Lutendo, it's over to you. Thank you so much. Uh, done and dusted the elective congress uh, of DA in the province. And of course, uh, it was well organized, I must say, in terms of time and schedule. They started at half past seven in the morning, aiming to end at about half past three. And they ended uh, before time. Ten positions were up for grabs. And we were particularly interested in two positions. That is the provincial leader of the DA and also the provincial chairperson. And of course, the provincial chairperson newly elected is uh, Lindy Wilson who joins me now. Lindy, thank you so much for your time. Congratulations. Thank you very much. And you've been, the DA had no provincial leader for two years. Correct. And now, what do you promise to the DA in particular and the people of Limpopo in, in, in general? Well, obviously, I've got a very tough task ahead of me. Um, we have had two bad years um, without a leader. I'm humbled by the faith that has been put in me by the, the electorate today, but I'm not kidding myself. I've got a very long and hard job, arduous task um, to get structures reunited, to get out there, to get to every voter that we can, um, to ensure that they understand what the DA stands for, um, how successful we are in other governments and what we can contribute as a Limpopo um, to the moonshot pact that we've had lots of discussions about. Oh, okay, y your, your leader uh, s uh, said um, uh, that uh, the ANC is filling that country we are in the doom and gloom and you are the only silver lining. Do you support it? Do you, do you, do you endorse it? No, I absolutely do. Um, where we do govern, we, there's no doubt about it. We govern successfully. We have good governance. We have a good track record. And we have great policies in place. So absolutely, yes. Um, where they have failed, we've stepped in and we've bridged the gap. Thank you so much. And thank you so much again for, for your patience. Right. Thank you so much for Thank having you. So, Thank so you. Much. And right now I'll be joined by uh, Jacques Smal, who was previously the provincial leader of the uh, DA, now elected as the provincial chairperson of the DA. Jacques, um, you were the provincial leader and later on you were suspended. There were allegations around you and now you were cleared. Can you just talk to us about it? Look, I've been vindicated. Uh, it was a long process, but it was a process that I believed in the party and um, we went through the process and now we're at the process where we're picking up the pieces and we've got to put the DA and um, its structures and the people that we serve in Dumbapa province first. And you, you were second biggest, meaning you were official opposition here, but now you're third biggest. What are you going to do to reclaim your position or even to take over the province? Look, um, what we need to do is, is n we need to make sure that we've got a strong foothold. And that strong foothold is focus focusing on some key objectives that is not just only 2024, but leading towards 2025. And that is making sure that Morimoli Mokopong, Tabazimbi municipality, remains a strategic municipality. We have got uh, around about 10 municipalities in our um, province that we are still the official opposition in those uh, municipalities. We have got to give the utmost support to those municipalities and we have got to make sure that our structures across all 22 municipalities are well resourced and that they are ready to campaign towards the 2024 election and make that real difference. Okay. Thank you so much, Jack. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. The uh, Limpopo province is the stronghold of the ANC and of course the DA has a, a, a cooling cool task ahead of them to make sure that they knock the ANC off its pedestal. It's back to you. Thank you so much uh, to our reporter Luten Dupobodi there in Polokwane at the DA's elective conference. He was joined by the two top positions there, our provincial leader, which is Lindy Wilson, alongside provincial chair, which is Jacques Small.